What's going on, everybody? My name is Chris, and welcome back to another exciting episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker HD Visually Blind. Um, last episode, we were helping Medley get up here and to this really strange place with statues you can see up their noses, and it's lovely, and they're very weird looking statues. Like, what the heck are these even supposed to be? Like, Moa heads, but not. <laughs> but, anyways, we got this cool little symbol here with the dragons. Oh, God, are we gonna fight a dragon here? Hope not. I freaking hate fighting dragons. Yeah, very clearly there's grooves in the ground, and yeah, this is actually the first temple of the game. This is Dragon Roost Cavern. This is a very mossed up one for some weird reason. I don't freaking know why. Oh no. Yeah, we're coming here with one heart. We're actually on hero mode playing this, which is actually kind of cool that we don't have to freaking see the stupid god dang. Or we don't have to listen to the beeping noise, which is thank god for that. It's such a pain in the butt to listen to. Are you dead? Whoa, I thought you were gonna freak, freaking karate chop me there. But alas, you did no such thing. Yay, he's dead. He's dead, Jim. So, here's an introduction of the meat sticks being on fire, which is really weird. And you might not expect that, but. Oh, actually, this is, I guess this is, this is needed to do. Come over here quick and light these torches, because if you don't do it quick enough, that fire will go out in the meat stick. I don't even know why they're on fire to begin with. <laughs> And for intimidation purposes, except there's no way they could have known I was coming from here. Alright, I've talked about two different kind of chests, like the wooden one with the steel columns on it, and then there's a the really spiky ones, the fancy looking ones, and then there's these ones. These ones will typically always just contain rupees, or just um, less important things, like monster spoils, but sometimes they'll contain things like this. You got a small key, use it to open locked doors, you can use it only in this dungeon. So yeah, the introduction of small keys. Use it to open up doors with locks on it, which looks just as silly as they do in other Zelda games with just, you know, you could totally open that door. <laughs> but, but alas, they don't let you. Um, I don't know, I keep expecting to see and find... Um, I keep expecting to find, like, just, uh, god dang, hearts. Yeah, that's what I was looking for. I was like, wait, what was I trying to say? There's this weird thing. What is this? Hello? Is this, oh no, it's not gonna, whoa, what the heck? Um, interesting. What happens if I stand in here? I don't take damage, do I? I better not. Does this not go off ever? Go off, I need you to go off. Oh, this can't push you off, that's kind of funny. Okay, <laughs> these pots are actually really special. I have a water drop that's on them. You explode them. Yay, what happens if you throw them to a torch? Absolutely nothing. And actually, that does not make as big of a splash as it did in the other games. Okay, enough dilly dallying in here. Go into the next room. Also, pay attention to the symbol on the door. Interesting. It actually, doesn't really look like anything in particular, does it? I, I did say pay attention, but I don't, it's not really important. <laughs> I just said that because I wanted to. I'm just finding it hard to believe there's no like hearts in any of these. Break! I will break you. This is not going to be an easy dungeon going in with a one heart, guys. I'm a bit worried. Get hit by like one thing or done, and there's a lot of enemies in here. This is Dragon Roost Island. This right here is like the main hub of the area. Actually, there's like a second floor to it as well. Yeah, this place is pretty big um, space wise. It's not really a big dungeon per se. Locked door. Okay, a little jump. Why would they? Why would they make this out of wood? Seriously, it's very clear people have built in here, but why would? Maybe it wasn't an active volcano at the time, actually. Maybe that's what's going on here. So you pull that block and use a jump across. Very difficult puzzles here. <laughs> I believe there's... Yeah, I was going to say, careful of that jump. Mind the gap in the jump. Good lord, fire. Yeah, I was going to say true. Watch out for this bridge. Any rope bridge. If you're not careful... See, you can break the ropes on them, and if you break them all, the bridge will give out and you will die. <laughs> so be very careful. Hey, look. This is not an obvious puzzle or anything. Nope. Ooh, don't stand too close, Mr. Link. Mr. Lincoln Park. Hey, there's, oh, there's a little doorway down there with a gigantic fire geyser. That's, that's what the word I was thinking of. I was thinking of gasm for some reason, like chasm. <laughs> I don't know why gasm. That's not even a word, man. Man. Hmm, a lot of water jars and no way to pass. Well, guess there's nothing for us to do here. Just kidding. Yeah, as, as you would imagine. Throw this water in here. And shucker, it causes platforms to appear that are... Oh, okay, I was going to say that are not floating. Whoa, that looks like that should probably kill me. Holy crap. 
You use another one of those chests. That was a semi-important item in it. And it is... We got the dungeon map! You can view it by tapping the map screen on the Wii U game. That, see, even, see rooms you haven't even been to yet. That's useful. Oops, I just totally punched my mic. Sorry, I was really angry. Okay, so once again, I don't know what I'm doing with maps here. I haven't edited the Forsaken Fortress episode yet. Um, I guess if I'm showing off maps, I'll put them on screen right now, starting with the first floor. And I'll, maybe I'll just circle where we're at. I'm on the far right room, Chris. The middle far right room. Okay, on the first floor. Okay, great. No, no to that for future, Chris. <laughs> so yeah, there's four floors of this place. And the second floor now, the third floor, and then the fourth floor. Oh, yeah. Although, I guess that's kind of weird for me to show because we don't have the compass yet. And I feel like if I'm showing the map, anywhere I find the maps, like on the internet, it'll probably showcase where keys and stuff are. Oh, be very careful here. This our, is this our first instance of the chew? I believe it is. This this thing always gets everyone. It does, I don't think he even attacks you until you start to climb. Wild. Dude, seriously? I don't have anything to like throw at him, do I? No, I don't. Ah! Oh, good lord! Okay. Oh, no, no, no! Well, that sucks. Oh, yep. Yeah. I don't know if you guys saw that sparkle there, but he dropped an item for us. An item we've never gotten before, but, well, guess we're never getting that. <laughs> that sucks. Oh, well. There will be plenty of cheese in the game. And it'll be especially useful to us, considering, you know, the whole hero mode thing and that's not what i want to do at all link you're supposed to grab the ledge like a good little boy but you did not you're a bad little boy link very bad you'll have to be punished yeah yeah oh look at that joy pendant that'll be useful i believe you need 41 in order to complete well not complete the i guess you would need to complete the game huh interesting whoa oh you guys see that hmm, interesting okay pay attention to what happened there whoa yeah i totally expected he was gonna jump at me there it's cool being a lot more careful playing this game. Right now, in those pots. I'm also looking for like joy pendants and all in that pot. And those pots. In that pot, bro. So. Just, just throw it aside for now. Let's go through here. Oh, wait. Our sword is not freaking strong enough to cut through that wood. However, the guy was able to cut through this wood. So let's try that out. Swing. Oh, yeah. Did it break all the wood? Yeah, I did. Okay. I was going to say, if I only broke like one of the two things of wood, I would have been very angry. Hey, look, it's more chooses. Yeah. Oh, no. Ah. Holy crap. Ah. ah, there we go. I was nowhere near that. You got some red chew jelly. Keep it in your spoils bag. This gelatinous goo comes from deep within the red chew chews. It is effective for a cure of exhaustion, but it can't be used in its current state. Yay. <laughs> there we go. Chew jelly. Oh, nope. Didn't want to go, to go there yet. Pick that sword up. And let's throw it. Ah, uh, okay. I thought I could maybe throw it over the ledge there, but maybe not. I might be able to, but I'm not gonna try again. Oh my god, you guys see that? It went through the freaking floor. That was crazy. I was really. I'm not gonna be able to do it. Am I? Ah, yes. <laughs> I was really hoping I could break that, just for freaking completionist sake. You got a small key. Yeah, we gotta break that. So yeah, there's a second small key. I guess that was necessary. I know there's a whole bunch of places in here that you don't need to do that kind of stuff with. Yeah. Oh no, there's more chews. I actually did not. I actually did kind of scare me. <laughs> I'm a lot more on my toes playing this game on hero mode. Woo! Nothing. And nothing. I'm a lot more careful watching for those. Like normally they're pretty use useless in the past games, but I do feel like they're gonna be a lot more important. Let's not break those rocks. Ooh, actually, it's very bad of you to break those rocks. Cause they're gonna be useful if I miss with this pipe. Ugh. See. <laughs> Okay, so we want to blow up those bombs. There's no way to pick them up, right? So let's see if we can agitate them a little bit. There we go. Oh, good lord. I thought for sure I was getting caught in that blast. But I was not. So it's kind of weird that they're going the side there. Oh, you know what? Recognize this place, guys? This is where we came out, came into the dungeon from. See, before we went left. But now we just opened the rock to the right. So there we go. We already created a shortcut for ourselves. Oh my god, there's a lot of skeletons. Why have all the people been dying here? It's kind of weird, actually. Very weird indeed. But yeah, the difference is now we have a lock key coming over here. So yay! And this room is important for later. You're gonna want to keep note of this. This room over there we can't access yet. Whoa, 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 whoa! Dang it! Well, it was inevitable. I was gonna take damage eventually. I'm really happy there's no beeping noise though. All right. Kill you. 
kill you. Oh, good lord. All right. Anything else? Hello? Oh, good lord! Holy crap, that actually scared me. Oh, I thought the guy was in there, but I was like, wait, he can't be in there. Because the the boards were already cracked up, so he could just break in with a normal short sword. So why would he be in there? Well, he totally was. Oh, so there's a... Uh, <laughs> so you have this solid wood here. Oops. I want to swing it. Wait, what? Why can't I swing it? A to swing. That's weird. If I go over here and press A to swing it, I just drop it for some reason. I guess because I'm too close. So yeah, that's not going to work. Hmm, I don't know what to do, guys. Whoa, what the heck? <laughs> yeah, I'm scared. I totally knew about that. Yeah, so you and you can also light this this wooden fire as well with these. I like all these kind of tutorials I have with this. They're like, okay, well, now you know it can break wood with swords, but now we can do when we don't give you a giant sword. Welp, there we go. Oh, we're going outside. There's another reason why this dungeon is like pretty much freaking loved to death by most people. It's because you can see, you can go outside and you, you go outside in the outside world occasionally. It's freaking awesome. All right, I want to try something here. Something I always found really fun as a kid. Uh, oh! <laughs> well then! Ooh. Oh, I'm dead. Uh oh. That was not worth it at all. <laughs> Dang it. I'm going to have to cut to where I was. Because I think this will start me at the beginning of the game. They better not start me from like, continue from last save. Because I haven't saved since the beginning of this recording session. Oh, good lord. Oh, I was going to say, if they didn't give me the option to save, that would have sucked. Alright, where are you going to put me? The beginning of the Oh, I thought just one of the statues disappeared for a second. I was really confused. Um, I guess I'll see you guys in a second. Be right back. And I'm back. Okay, I'm assuming I just fast forward there since I only took like two seconds. I want to try something here. Oh, that probably wasn't a good idea. I want to see if this works. Yes! I mean, that didn't accomplish anything, but I just love doing that for some reason. I love breaking the bridge, so it collapses on that uh, vocal blid. <laughs> I just find it so fun. Alright, but it doesn't really matter because he responds anyways when you go back to the door. He just kind of climbs up the mountain or something, I guess. Ah! Don't you dare, sir! I'm gonna follow his death. Holy crap, that's a long fall! Holy crap! <laughs> that was awesome! All right, let's climb this ladder of death. Why is it a ladder of death, you may be asking? Well, let's just kind of hang out here for a second, and we'll see. You see this charred part of the ladder? Oh, what is that right there? Oh, no. Is it fiery death and death flames? Yes, it is. Holy crap. How has this ladder not just been burnt to a crisp? I mean, this is very clearly wood, right? Kind of weird. <gasps> it's a sunbird's offspring. I will murder you. You bird! Get away from me! Uh, I can, I can get to him. There we go. Oh, I, he died in one hit, really? Is he gonna drop? Nope. Alright, those guys have a special drop as well. I kind of thought they would drop, but it not. Alas, it did not do such a thing. <laughs> Alright, I guess I'm gonna wait here. It's kind of scary. Getting as close as he can without falling off. Alright, look at that. We have a lot of room to move. Oh man, it's hard to tell where it all counts as a hit and where it won't. Oh, look at that. That was pretty cool. At the same time, it also looks kind of shitty graphically wise. There's just a way, just the pattern it has to it looks really cool. Hmm, a giant rock. It's not like that blow up or anything. Oh, 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 what? But this is in our way. What the heck? I'm just kidding, I know what to do. Alright, so we gotta work our way across here very scarily. Oh, look, look, there's a rock for us to- Whoa, whoa, there's a rock to catch us. Holy crap. Good God, imagine how terrifying that would be in real life. That would be so easy to fall off. It's so hard to grip things like that in real life. Like ledges like that. All right, can you climb up, please? Thank you very much, Mr. Link. And yeah, very obviously. Gotta blow up this rock. Is that gonna reach? It is not. Welp, then. <laughs> Welp, then. I have clearly failed. My life is nothing but a misery mess. Oopsies. Oh, there we go. That did work. It's weird that that giant boulder fell right in front. It's like it fell through the wooden stuff in this door, but it's not broken for some reason. I don't freaking know. Oh, this room. This room is another room I found a really cool secret in that I didn't understand before. And also, there's this, which is kind of very obvious. I don't remember it being very obvious in the first game. Oh, there's two. Interesting. 
Okay, so let's see if I can remember how to do this. I believe you grab this. There's a secret behind these pillar things. That's that's what I'm going for here, guys. It's got, I guess it's got to be under this one, right? Oops. No, let go. Grab it. And there we go. Nothing, I don't think, is like vital in the game. Actually, I'm not sure it's not a vital part of the game, but it's still really cool. Is this just rupees? I think it's just probably rupees. This is nothing. Okay, it's five rupees, so that's six total. Don't know what that. I guess that must have been another fiver. That's like what? Um. What? What? Yep. How do we go continue down there? What the balls? Is there another one underneath that one? There couldn't be. Really? Right? What am I missing now? We can't even pull out all the way. Huh. Well, there's one under there. No, there's not. So we know for sure. It's like... Hmm. That's very interesting. In that case, I don't know how to get to that bottom one. Unless it comes up later. And that goes to the left as well. Hmm. Let's let's ex exit this room and come back. That's very interesting. This has actually got me stunned. Maybe they added this in or something. Maybe we just gotta not pull this out all the way. So let's do this. Let's just pull them out by one. If anything, I kind of feel like it would be underneath the first one, right? <gasps> there we go. Holy crap, I figured it out. That's awesome. Ten rupees. I did not know that. Was that in the first game? I kind of feel like it wasn't. I kind of remember only the one hole. Sneaky, sneaky, Nintendo. So I guess there's only rupees under here, but it's still, like, it's a cool secret. It's pointless, but it's really cool and rewarding to find. Well, it's not really rewarding, I guess, but mentally it's rewarding. All right, let's do this the way we're supposed to do here. Um, this is pretty straightforward. When you do it the normal way, just pull them out enough so you can climb them. Yay! Victory is mine! Ah, ha ha! Oh, look, I press A. Link, have you seen any filthy thieving rats around? What? This is Tetra's rock. How can you talk to me? I know they are annoying, but keep your wits about you. They're only rats. If you spread bait, bait near their nest, they may share their story, store of treasure with you. Why don't you give it a try? Well, we could try. Oops. Well, you know what? Let's, let's pause it. There we go. I was going to say, let's pause it. So these guys can't get me. Good lord, I don't want them to hit me. Do you guys have any potions for sale or anything? That would be fantastic. They might. Delicious. Hey, I got something real good I'll sell ya. For real. What will it be? Nothing. Great. Cheapskate. Bring me something more. Uh, whatever, asshole. I was hoping to get something useful from you, but I did not. Ooh, there's a key we don't have yet. What? They gave us some stuff here. First, let's open this chest right here. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. We got the compass. Now you can see where things are in the dungeon. Yeah. So, let's see here what we have. Alright, on the first floor here we have... There's no way to pull this up. Like, I'm not being stupid here, am I? No, it doesn't look like there's a way... I figured I would at least try one more time. But no, it doesn't look like there's a way to pull up the map on the main screen, which is dumb. Okay, so we're on the second floor. It looks like there's four more treasure chests here. One of them's in this room. Interesting. Um, on the first floor... There's, there's two treasure chests. One is in a room we've already been in. The other is in a room we haven't been in. On the third floor, there's two treasure chests. Neither in rooms we, or They're in the same room, neither of which we've been in. And the fourth floor, there's nothing. Also, on the third floor, there's the dungeon um, boss. Okay. Ooh, look at that. Well, very obviously, we got to light this on fire. And then we got to throw it across. And it missed. Great. At least we have one more shot here. <laughs> Right? Oh, I was going to say, we better have one more shot. I think you can maybe just run over there as well and climb up that ladder in time. But, I was going to say, I might have to do that if I miss a shot. But no, I'm not going to miss a shot because I am not a stoop stoop. Although I might be. 
Alright, let's open up this chest. Open up the chest and get the thing! We got a small key and stuff. I love reading reading my like announcer voice when I get an item. <laughs> Find it fun. Oh yeah, and I guess since we threw bait in front of the thing there, the rats are no longer bugging us. That's great. Alright, let's open this door. And we're back outside. And this is actually really cool right here. Is there anything that way? No. Although we can see pass rooms from here. That's always really cool as well. Oh, good lord, these, these stairs are all messed up. They're all kinds of messed up. Alright, this right here, I was talking about um, a good spot to grind for... Oh, look, there's a key on his nest. That's cool. I was talking about before a great spot to grind for a certain item, a certain monster spoil, and hopefully we'll actually get it here. We might not. You're so annoying, bird. So annoying, bird. So you're going to drop it if he drops it. Oh, you didn't drop it. Okay, so I will not spoil what that item is. Something that we learned about recently, though, that a guy wanted from us. And yeah, he was, you know, birds like shiny things and stuff. Let's go through the store. Ooh, we're in a dark room. What a, what a very ominous place to end off the episode with, isn't it, guys? So thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you enjoyed, please feel free to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. My name's Chris. In the next one, we'll explore this dark room and we might even either come close or finish up Dragon Roost Cavern already. The dungeon is pretty freaking short. We might just make it up to the boss though. So thank you guys so much for watching with Link's ooh face. Ooh, he's ooing at the fact that I'm such a great commentator on stuff. Right, Link? Oh, now he's making a grumpy face. Clearly, he disagrees. Ooh, <laughs> that's his ooh burn face. All right, I'm, I'm done. See you guys later. Goodbye.